Hey guys, today I am going to do advent calendar bags for Valentine's Day. Now I've done this for Christmas, 25 bags for the days of Christmas. And so I'm gonna do 14 bags for Valentine's Day from February 1st all the way to the 14th. I thought this would be such a great idea. My daughter loves it for Christmas. And I thought, why not Valentine's Day? And there are so many cute ways that you can decorate your bags. So I'm gonna show you all 14 today in this video. And the first one I'm gonna do is very, very simple. These heart picks are from Dollar Tree. The lunch bags are from Dollar Tree. And I'm simply just going to arrange the hearts in the order that I like the most. But first I always cut the flap over, not cut it over, but I fold it over so that I can see where the crease is gonna be because I do close the bags after I put the little goodie in there so that it just doesn't like stay open. And I ended up having to use a hot glue gun with these hearts because they're foam. And so foam doesn't really stick well to sticky adhesiveness. So it was just really easy to just dab a little bit of hot glue to each one and they were perfect. And the arrow clip is from the Target dollar spot. I'm also not going in order from the 1st through the 14th because this bag actually turned out to be day 14, FYI. But I'm doing the same thing. First I fold the top over and I'm actually using these Dollar Tree window clings. And if you watch my Dollar Tree hauls, you know how obsessed I am with these. And you guys, they are the cutest things for these advent calendar bags. I mean, this is just too precious for me, too precious. Now these window clings have a little bit of stickiness to them, but it's not enough to just permanently seal to the bag. So a little bit of hot, um, glue stick works just great. I also ended up using some double-sided sticky tape as well. So both of those combinations work. And yeah, so I'm just taking the little bits and pieces from the window clings and I'm actually gonna use the bears again later on. You're gonna see how cute that bag is. But I use this one for the 14th because it says happy Valentine's Day. This one is my favorite bag because this card is from Dollar Tree. It's one of their handmade cards. It was actually last year's collection, February 2017. So you probably can't find it unless you already own it from then. But I love this card so much and I thought it would be perfect for this bag because I will always get to see it every single year when I do these for my daughter. I'll even do this when she goes to college. I'm not lying. I will pack all this stuff up, put little goodies and ship it in a box to her and have her open them up day by day. But anyway, so so this one's just a favorite of mine. I will tell you guys that the best tools to use if you are going with the lunch bag theme is to definitely use double-sided sticky tape. The glue dots, uh, those are the strongest methods of, it, of um, binding things together. The glue stick was a little bit too weak. Maybe it's just my kind of glue stick, I don't know. But definitely double-sided sticky tape, glue dots, and a hot glue gun are your best things here. Now, I wanted to have this red envelope in the back. I just thought it made it pop more. So yeah, that's basically it. And then I'm gonna add some cute Dollar Tree heart rhinestones. Can you believe this entire bag is Dollar Tree products? Like it's just the cutest thing ever and I love how this bag turned out. And I, you'll see in the end how I marked the days on each calendar, but I think this one turned out to be day 11. With this bag, I'm actually using ribbon and I'm showing you how cute ribbon can be. I wanted to do two rows of this heart ribbon, which I also think came from Dollar Tree or it maybe came from Michael's. I'm not really sure. It's been a long time, but I'm sure it showed up in some sort of haul last year. But I'm showing you that you can actually use glue dots from the Dollar Tree and they work perfectly to buy, combine the ribbon to the paper bag. And then I'm going to use these Dollar Tree heartfelt stickers to add and decorate the rest of the bag. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do three rows of ribbon or two rows of ribbon. In the end, I just kind of thought I'm going to leave it at two. But yeah, it's so cute how the ribbon turned out. And also I'm leaving the sound on because I know how much you guys love the sound of me cutting and like working in my planner. So I thought I would just leave the sound on for this video. This next bag I knew I had to do in some way, fashion, form, 
I had to do it and it's my rendition of Love Potion number nine. Now I've actually done a Love Potion number nine planner spread so I'll link it down below for you guys in case you're interested but it's one of my favorite 80s movies and I thought Love Potion number nine is perfect for Valentine's Day. So I went with this image. I just googled Love Potion and I found this and I thought it was really cute so I printed it off my computer and then I cut it out and added it to this pink scrapbook paper and this psychedelic-y, I wouldn't even know what to call the one that's kind of shiny, but it is so pretty. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was perfect because it kind of gave off like a magical spell vibe to me and I thought it was just perfect for this. So as you can see, I did end up adding white printer paper behind it because it just, the pink popped out more with that white underneath. But that's it. I'm just using some glue stick to add it to the bag and then you'll see later that I'm adding some heart rhinestones and then eventually at the end I labeled this as day number nine. This next bag was also super simple. I used these cute little pom-poms from Dollar Tree and then I went and used my hot glue gun, turned it into the shape of a pink heart and voila, all done. I am going to use Dollar Tree window clings. Again, I don't know why I call them window clings, but just window decoration. And these conversation hearts were, are just, oh my gosh, I, I can't even, <sighs> You guys, I can't even talk about it. It's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I actually loved it so much that I actually made a second bag just because I thought one is not enough. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, it's Conversation Hearts, the two go hand in hand. And again, I just used some glue stick to add it to the bag and then I trimmed off the sides and I thought it looked really, really cute. This next bag is super cute too, and I'm using a combination of cardstock scrapbook paper, a card from Dollar Tree, and a clip from Target Dollar Spot. So I am showing you guys that I used glue stick here, but it just, the cardstock was too thick, so it wasn't um, securing itself to the bag well enough. Now, thin printer paper worked just fine, but anything too thick is just too heavy. It's not gonna bind. So I went back in with the glue dots, and they worked perfect. So, and then you'll see with the card, I used the double-sided sticky tape and that worked fabulous as well too. And again, double-sided sticky tape, I also get at Dollar Tree. It's like my, one of my favorite supplies there. And then I'm gonna end up using Target Dollar Spot, this little like wood paper flower. It's very odd. It's like wood chips. The yellow was my favorite, but it was kind of damaged. And then when I added the pink, I thought it was perfect because it did look more like Valentine's Day. This is also another favorite of mine. I am doing a hot air balloon theme. Now, hot air balloons, do they really go with Valentine's Day? Uh, I really don't know, but it's romantic. And I guess some people can like, you know, take someone they love on a hot air balloon ride for fun or something like that. But I thought it was so cute. I was gonna do it anyway. And there's lots of pink in it. So pink is Valentine's Day to me and I just love it. Now this very first uh, scrap of paper actually doesn't end up I put it on the bag, but you don't end up seeing it because I end up covering it later on. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of pointless to even look at it. But I am using these uh, this cute little scrapbooklet. I don't even know where I got it from. Michael's probably. And the card I got separately at like TJ Maxx. So it wasn't like I bought them together. And I hauled that card a long time ago. So you guys like, and I even showed you in a video. It must've been like a year or two years ago. I still had that card and I was waiting for the right moment to use it. And I feel like it's just perfect for this bag. And then I used hot pink washi to kind of tie in the pink. And it turned out so, so cute. I love this bag so much.
And here are the bears again, the window decorations. And I'm not gonna show you every single step because you kind of get the point, but I used washi this time. I put silver washi on both sides of the scrapbook paper. And then I used some glue stick, added the bears, added the bear hug. And how cute is that? This next bag is also very simple. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot a year or two years ago, and I just laid them out exactly how they were in the packaging. I put the lightest to darkest side by side, and they were actually like 3D, so I obviously bent them, and they're really, really cute too. And I think this is my last bag. Again, another card method where I'm using a Dollar Tree card. Again, this is also February 2017, so you wouldn't be able to find this today. I just checked out their new line for 2018. I hauled some, so you'll see that I'll haul soon. They're okay. I definitely love 2017 better than 2018, but also, I love using the envelope. I think it makes it look a lot cleaner to put it behind there. Now, the reason why I saw the robots was because I didn't know if I wanted to use robots or not, but the bear was totally cute, so I went with that. And now I'm going to show you my bags in order. I hope that you guys love this video. I hope that you're inspired. It's so much fun doing these bags for kids and for anyone, even if you just do it for yourself, because I'm telling you the moment my daughter hightails it to college, I'm gonna do one for her, I'm gonna do one for myself, and I'll probably even do one for my dog. So anyway, I'm so impressed with Dollar Tree. Oh, I'm so grateful for Dollar Tree because these bags are so, so cute. And I had so much fun doing this project. You guys, it's so simple and it's so fun. I know I keep saying fun, but it is. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you again for another DIY. Bye.